as you can see that is the piston and the rod for actuating the nozzle okay i will explain the structure of the nozzle and the operation this is the burner assembly then in you will in return okay then this assembly has a actuation rod and then piston and then auto shut off needle as you can see in flashing period there is a fuel but the nozzle is closed because there is a shut off needle installed then this rod after opening this a solenoid valve acts for a pilot to open this to open this piston goes backward when this solenoid opens this piston moves backward also the actuator actu uh, actu uh, rod then it will release the shut off needle as you can see in the optimizing period the piston goes back piston is here then the optimizing rod uh, actuator rod goes back and then it will release the shut off needle on the nozzle okay. okay removing the nozzle that nozzle is equipped with shut off needle there is a filter spring together with shut off needle okay that is the that is the equation for auto shut off needle that's it that is the equation needle to shut off that nozzle and this is the location where the piston installed okay there is a hole so that if it stop you can push Okay, we need to push that thread so that we can remove the piston that is the piston with the spring okay that's that is the assembly or structure on that burner okay that thread pushes the shut off needle one installed on the nozzle okay in is at the center the hole and that last one is for actuation opening the cylinder uh, opening the piston that is only the structure the main valve is open and then the pilot or actuator valve will open the actuator valve is also the solenoid so that solenoid is opening uh, after opening the solenoid it will push the piston backwards and then open the automate uh, open the shut off needle and then starts to automize okay then we check in the emergency mode so that we can check the actual spray of oil in the user we already start the fuel fuel pump okay there is a pressure and this is very useful if you check first the burner outside before installing uh, start the burner motor fan that is for the fan and then we can check the oil spray during automizing period okay this in this button ignition you cannot uh, open that valve without pressing that ignition button but we already disconnect the igniter okay you can see the oil spray oil spray on that bucket you will oil spray on that bucket it means it's open the shut off needle and all so the valves working normally okay and you can see very nice okay we need to put it back before that one this is the problem the diaphragm is the solenoid and the rubber diaphragm is brittle and there there is a crack after cleaning replace a spare 
rubber for this solenoid and maybe th that is the cause the cause of the dirt going to that nozzle that's why the nozzle is stuck okay i hope you like share and subscribe then don't forget to hit the bell for more updates thank you very much